Hey guys, I am going to give you a very quick tutorial on the iMotion app. This is a free app that I downloaded from the App Store onto my phone. You can also download it on the iPad. Um, like I said, it's free. It's pretty easy to use, so here we go. When you open the app, this is what it looks like. I hit New Movie, and now I'm going to type in a title. This movie is about Cheez-Its, so I am titling it Cheez-Its. And I'm going to choose manual, which lets me take a picture when I want to instead of on a predetermined timeline. And then I hit start. So this is the view through my phone. You can see my cheese it there on the table. I'm just getting everything set up, how I want my background. I took this on a table, but you could take it um, with something vertically. Just choose an item. This time I chose a cheese it and here we go. So I'm going to place it where I want it. This is where my first photo is going to be taken and I hit capture. I move it and I hit capture. I move it again and I hit capture and that's as simple as it is. You move the item, hit the capture button, it takes a picture. You will go through um, all of the photos that you want. Notice I'm just moving it the tiniest little bit. I'm moving it and rotating it because that's the motion that I'm looking for in this video. I'm going to try to make that cheese that look like it's bouncing along the bottom of the screen there. And so think about how you want to make your object come to life. How would it move? Would it rotate? Would it bounce up and down? Does it run into something and then split apart into smaller pieces? There are literally endless things that you can do with this. So be creative. So as I'm taking these last few image captures on my video, I'm moving it just out of the view and I'm finished. So I am finishing my video. I want to stop capturing video. I'm going to hit stop and tap it twice and then it's going to give me a preview of my video. So there's my cheese it bouncing along the bottom of the screen and it turned out pretty closely to how I wanted it to. Um, along the bottom, you'll see that I'm sliding that bar. Uh, right now it's at 10 FPS, that stands for frames per second. So if you slide it to the right, it will give you more frames per second, which means it will show faster movement. And if you slide it back to the left, it will give you fewer frames per second, and that will show you slower movement. I'm happy with my video, so I'm just going to export it to my photo library, and then it's going to be in my camera roll, in my phone, or if you're using an iPad, it will stay there. Um, yes, it will need permission to save your photos, and that's it. And now, without any further ado, I give you the Jumping Cheese It.